Happy Thursday, friends. Please excuse the background noise. The content doesn't stop, but neither does the heat. So I'm running fans, so you have to bear with me for a little while. On Thursdays, I usually have a segment called Action Figure Impact, where I look at an action figure of somebody who was featured in TNA Impact Wrestling because it airs on Thursday nights. What also premieres on Thursday nights is the new episodes of Ring of Honor on their subscription app, Honor Club. For 10 bucks, you get the whole Ring of Honor back catalog as well as weekly episodes. I've recently subscribed and I dig it. Um, when I first started running episodes, the time was very inconsistent, ranging from two to three hours a week. And there was not a lot of meat on those bones. You know, a lot of uh, empty matches, not a lot of story, you know, development. But they're really, they trimmed it down to very high quality matches and content. It's a quick, easy watch. Leaves you wanting more but not feeling ripped off. And so I want to talk about a wrestler who I saw on last week. Grand Metal League from CMLL. They have a working relationship with Ring of Honor. Now most of you may recognize this guy from his time in the WWE Cruiserweight division. But he was... A legend known as the King of the Ropes well before WWE. That is how he got recognized and signed. He had, uh, I believe he won, uh, did he win Tag Team Champ? I'm not sure. I know he was a big part of Lucha House Party. And one of the more exciting guys on the roster. After his release, he uh, hit the Indies again and went to CMLL. And is now thankfully being featured again on American TV with Ring of Honor. And their relationship with the whole AEW umbrella of wrestling companies. And so that's been great. And this is a great action figure. It came with multiple hands, uh, fists, and the pointy fingers that were from his Lucha House Party days at Lucha, Lucha. So we got that going on. Um, we got the great entrance jacket. It is uh, a little bit softer rubber, so it you know moves around a little bit easier. Um, it is not an easy piece to get on and off. Um, if you look here, we have these, they buckle in nice. And so that's a nice change, but it is definitely a lot harder to work with than the, um, fabric entrance jackets. Let's see if I can get this off real quick. Here we go, and this is to show you um, the detail and design on this thing. This is a great figure for somebody who was never featured prominently on WWE television. Um, you got the whole bodysuit here, the golden boots with the detail. You know, looks just like him. You have his hair coming out the back of the mask. You know, great detail, which is very important on the mask. You know, because that is their signature. You're not going to see two masks that are the same unless it's passed down from one generation to another. And so this is a great figure. It is before they added the double joints and the elbow on the elites. And so you're going to have some limited motion, but it still looks great. I've used it for photographies. And uh, you can get a lot of movement out of this guy. Other than that, it has the standard elite articulation, the rocker that goes back and forth, ball joint head, shoulders, uh, double joint and knees, no knee pads, so you can get full range of motion from those double joints. Overall, a great figure. If you can get a hold of one, I suggest you do. I, st I got I got uh, Lince Dorado from this time period as well. I need to get a Sin Cara to add to my collection. All these guys are with WWE anymore. Which is sad. I think, you know, they would fit right in with Rey Mysterio on what he is doing right now. But they're all still working. They're all still, you know, putting out great content for us wrestling fans to enjoy. So that has been another, the, the second episode of what I like to call Figure of Honor. When I look at an action figure of somebody who competes in Ring of Honor, or who has competed in Ring of Honor. The first one I did was the Willa Yuta unboxing with the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. And uh, that's what I'm going to do, alternate probably between TNA and Ring of Honor Wrestling. 
Anyway, you guys enjoy your wrestling tonight. If you're watching TNA, if you're watching Ring of Honor, if you're watching both, tell me who your favorite wrestlers are from these uh, smaller yet very important companies. You know, a lot of people they overlook these smaller companies because you know uh, all the money is in WWE and the spotlight and in AEW, but you know that talent has to start somewhere. And while both have training schools that they work with, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the talent is going to be TV ready the soonest are guys who are out there grinding in these smaller companies. So go show those shows some love. Like I said, Honor Club is only 10 bucks a month, four brand new shows a month, plus, you know, the uh, pay-per-views. So this has been Figure of Honor, Van Metal Lake. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep watching that wrestling. I am out.